Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com with an update of Art Wars. Okay, so the first thing, the most important thing is this. The Kickstarter campaign brought this amount of money, which this is in pesos because I'm in Mexico, but in dollars that translate to $25,000. Okay, that's great. The problem was that the actual uh, cost of the project was not this. I miscalculated. The actual price, the actual cost, the investment required has been, or at least the, the amount I have been investing has surpassed 75K. So it's a lot and uh, it's still not done. The project is much more expensive than I thought. And I'm like, well, I'm not stopping. I'm still putting more to make it happen, right? So right now I'm still struggling with, with some funding, but how, like, luckily I had two engineers who are still working on their own time for free because we want to see this app. It's so exciting. We want to see it finished. So where are we right now and where can, like, when can you start using it? Okay, let me show you. This is live. When you go to Art Wars, you're going to see this, these characters you're going to be able to log in or sign up. But we want to do something different because uh, most like 100% of my students are on Teachable, right? Because that's where we host our, pro like our all our courses. And you, uh, what we are implementing right now is give you the ability to log in with Teachable. And that is great because that way, whatever you have access to, you're going to have access on Art Wars. If you bought a course, then you're going to see that course also inside Art Wars, right? For the training. So for now, I have a test account. I'm going to log in and I've been doing some testing and you can see how this works. This is the first tab when you arrive is you show a couple of things that you've delivered, right? Like I, I have two myelin stones, right? myelin diamonds. That is every time I'm going to explain what these are is just completion of completion of things and my daily streak, right? The, the, we had some problems with the daily streak. Now apparently it has been fixed. So here's the thing. The first is going to be the community. The community is when anybody posts anything, I'm going to see it posted in here. Right now, I only have another person, which is the developer, uh, Bison, and he just posted this as a test, right? And so I can add a comment there, like I can put cool, right? And now that added a comment, if I click on it, I can see that I have my comment in there and then I can react. I can give a thumbs up or I can give a love it, right? And then close it. And now this has, let me, I think I need to refresh it. It should have, it should show there. There's a reaction. I had to refresh it. So there's things that we still need to work like that should have uh, updated automatically. But you can see that right now we have a version that we're going to use to compile more data usage and then see what to adjust. And then I have some like um, uh, some notifications of when people react to my stuff. Uh, he's going to get a notification also like, oh, people are liking your stuff, right? And then I can go to my gallery and in my gallery, I see all the things that I delivered, right? I can put comments and descriptions, right? And so this is a great way because if I go to other students, like for example, in here, and I go to this one, for example, I can see in his gallery, he has this. And I can see the summary. I can see the summary, his avatar, like the, the calendar of how much he has been showing up, etc. And I can arrange, if I close this in here, I can arrange the order in which all the other students are shown up, right? So that's for the profile. I'm going to go back to profile in here and the same I can see for myself. I can go to summary and I can see that the, you can see at the beginning, this, the daily streak was not working and now it started working from yesterday, May 10. So you can see I have a daily streak of two. And then milestones and myelin diamonds. So while, what are these? So 
when I go to quest in here or continue quest and then I go to quests, I can see that I have two training, simplified anatomy or animated series, right? So I can go to simplified anatomy and you can see that I delivered all the drawings for the head of the female and the male. That's why these are completed. So in total, you can see that I completed these 30 missions, right? Like I can do over, but these 30 missions gave me the milestones. That's why I have th 60. And I completed this whole thing that gave me a mile in diamond. So whenever I see anyone who is, is delivering a lot of drawings, but they are not completing milestones, that means they are students that are not really training. They are just here to express themselves and that's allowed, right? And if I see someone with milestones, that means they are following some specific training that we are providing here, right? Uh, another thing is that we have students testing, right? We have students who get another training from another course on Udemy or something and they are posting. So they, they don't have it gamified. So they don't collect milestones because of that. But that doesn't mean they are not training, right? They are training just from a course on Udemy or something. And they are using this platform to see their working, to see others and in the community, right? So that's allowed. That's totally allowed. Now, here's something cool. When you upload, you are going to see parts of the body that are starting to be completed. So if I'm not good at drawing the arms when, I, when I'm drawing a character and I struggle with the arms and I look at this map, I can see, oh, that is because I haven't practiced enough drawing of the arms yet. Or if I am having trouble drawing the torso, well, I can see, oh, it's because I haven't practiced enough, right? I haven't done the introduction. I haven't done the close object method, right? So all of these play along. Now, if I go to tutorials, for example, oh, how do I draw the, the close object method? How do I do that? I go to tutorial, then I can see the videos. I can also get the tutorials by going here or go to downloads. This specific course doesn't have specific downloads, but this one does have tutorials, right? Like all the lessons by pressure and I can play them. I'm going to hit play in here and then let's pretend that I complete the whole thing, right? Look at this. I got that and then I can go to the next video. Boom, it loads lesson two. I'm gonna play it, let's go to the ending. Nice. Boop, and it ends. I get experience, right? Look at that. Se it's a seven minute video, so I get seven experience. Perfect. And then I can continue going to the next video. And you can see that this is showing the lessons that I completed, right? Now, what happens if I go, for example, let me close this book. I'm going to close it and open the animated series, this one. And look at this. If I go to tutorials, I have two chapters completed already. That means that I completed all the lessons in here, all the lessons in here, and so on and so forth. So that is pretty useful. And if I go to downloads, I can see all the downloads in here, right? For some, we provide the links for the backgrounds of the monster dance, one of the exercises. You can download right there. So it automatically shows you exactly where to go to, to follow along with the exercises. That is because I really enjoy having everything uh, like in an orderly manner. Because in other courses, I get lost in eh, where are the project files, etc. Like in here, you can find them really easily by going to downloads. Okay. So yeah, that's it. And in here, there's another system of in here, you have to deliver animation. So we need less practice. And I mean, it takes a drawing is faster to do than a whole animation, right? So this you need to do five animations to for each for, to complete each of these ones. Okay, so that's it. And then you can train your visual intelligence right here. You can go to mini games, the stats. I've been training a little bit. Like you can see my performance is really poor <laughs> because the specific training that I'm doing 
is to identify a perfect square that helps for proportions. It's a simple game. I'm using this one, the, the really hard. And then I just have to guess where is a perfect square. Oof, you get, you still get experience for trying, but look at this. I didn't get it because the, the perfect square is right here. I was close, but this level four is really hard. You have to be super precise in the square, right? An easier one is like this one. Like I, I think I can get it correct in there. I was off, but I still got it correct. All right. So yeah, that's it. That's the update. This is about to be released in a couple of weeks. I hope, I think we can just, we just need to find a couple of more little errors. And for all the Kickstarters who applied for the, the $50 pledge, you're going to have access to the beta test, all right? We're, this is going to be the version to collect data and see what else we can improve, and then we're going to release it to the public, all right? But you guys are going to be first in here, in the col data collection, all right? Okay, I gotta go. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Hopefully, you enjoy this when we release it very soon.